A very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Thomas Mason Lim from University Kebasaan, Malaysia. From this point onwards, the dual language program in Sarawak will be known as DLP Sarawak. Before I begin, let me ask you a quick question. How many of you have ever experienced a situation where you were not able to understand or comprehend certain scientific or mathematical terms in the English language? I bet most of you have. I am included. Therefore, let me introduce to you the DLP program, which was introduced in Malaysia back in 2016 to help improve the level of proficiency and comprehension towards scientific and mathematical terms in the English language. The state government of Sarawak saw this as an opportunity to further enhance the economic status of the state in 2020. Therefore, DLP Sarawak was implemented. The DLP Sarawak was seen as a golden opportunity to help open more doors in the future, beginning now from primary and secondary schools. However, there were in fact problems. You might be wondering what kind of problems? Firstly, the implementation was too rash, the resources were limited, and challenges were overwhelming, especially for the English language teachers who were brought in to teach science and mathematics. Just because they are able to speak the language, it does not mean that they are able to teach the subjects well. People like me, I am an English language teacher, but I am now teaching science under the DLP program, and that is not fair for teachers like me. Therefore, to see what other English language teachers think, I conducted an investigation through a survey research, and 1,096 teachers responded to the survey questionnaire. The results? They found that the DLP program in Sarawak is in fact effective. It is beneficial for not only the students, but also the country in the future. However, it needs improvement. More resources should be available and easily accessible by teachers and pupils. Because the teachers are not all from the science and mathematics background, they need support. Ladies and gentlemen, the DLP Sarawak is a good model for other countries who wish to implement a dual language program or a multilingual education system in their country. I would like to propose a collaboration between countries like Malaysia and Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore, Malaysia and Philippines, or even India, China, the United States, or the United Kingdom. Such a collaboration will help to improve the system, the dual language program, and also enhance collaboration between countries. That is all for me, and I hope that you will see the benefits of the DLP program alongside me and my country. Thank you.